How's it going guys? Genesis Crypto here and today we have a very sad, sad video guys. My Ant Miner S9 broke. It showed the little faulty light and it stopped mining completely. It showed zeros, G, H and all that bad sad stuff. So what am I actually going to be doing? Now hopefully this video helps out the people that are specifically wanting to uh, take the miner back to a repair site or anything like that for Bitmain so that they can repair it because that is what I've decided to do. I've already tried to uh, download the latest firmware and uh, look up little tips and tricks on how to, I guess, make this uh, and how to make this better. And uh, nothing works, guys. You know, it stays with zero GH. Actually, I did reset my miner, I turned it back off. And I waited a couple minutes and I turned it back on and showed a green light, but still no GH. So, this video is going to be showing you guys how to pack your Amminer S9 to be able to ship it out. And kind of like what you have to do and maybe a little bit of things to help them speed up the process a little better. Alright, so, um, some, some of these things also are going to be on the actual desktop. So, we're going to be jumping into the desktop a little later into the video. There's an airplane right now. But anyways, guys, let me show you guys what I did. Now, I bought a lot of bubble wrap because I do not want this miner to break during shipping. And they tell you, they specifically tell you to, to wrap it correctly and all that stuff, right? So let me move this paper here because it shows some sort of information. But there is going to be an export PDF uh, paper that you're going to have to take out. You're going to have to put one inside and you're going to have to put one on the top of the cardboard. And the best thing to do is obviously put packaging tape all over that one on the outside just in case rain gets on or anything like that. All right, guys. So what I did is I put these styrofoam kind of things all over, as you guys can see right there. One in the bottom, one on the top, all that stuff. I bubble wrapped the shit out of this Amminer S9, guys. It looks like a mummy. You can't see nothing. I mean nothing of nothing. This don't even look like an Amminer S9. It looks like a very weird transparent burrito but uh it's in there and it's very 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 uh packaged right so i put two on the side one on the top like i told you i mean in the bottom and then one on the top like that and then what i'm going to be doing is going to be putting the export pdf paper on the top i'm thinking about folding it just in case it doesn't uh you know obviously if you leave the paper straight like that Maybe it'll bend or anything like that. I'll probably leave it straight like that because I thought it'll happen. So an export PDF paper, you're going to need to... That's pretty much the only like, uh, the thing, the only thing that you have to put in there. But I recommend taking a picture of your dashboard, the last things that it showed, and taking a picture of the kind of like the mining uh, page thing. I'm going to be showing you guys that part when I get to the desktop. And also the uh, mandatory export PDF folder inside. Not folder, a file inside and on the top. So that's how I packaged my miner. It's very simple. That's really all you have to do. And uh, there's this paper, there's this little guide on their website. And like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys the guide also. Uh, and the guide tells you pretty much what you have to do and stuff like that. But uh, I'm actually looking at the guide right now in front of me. Let me turn the camera over. All right, so here's the little guide. I, I kind of printed it out, and I'm just gonna uh, kind of like touch up on things, very specific things or whatever. Now, uh, the export PDF file that I told you guys about, you need to put it in and outside. It is mandatory. They will reject the package if you did not do that, okay? Um, and then it says, be sure to declare value within $45 and describe the product as warranty part on the way bill. Now, what I mean, what I believe that they mean about the way bill, I have not obviously shipped this to, I'm going to be using UPS, by the way. Um, I'll probably have to pay for shipping. I'm not too sure how that goes. They will probably repair it for free because I am under the warranty. Um, but if you are, like I'm under the warranty. I've only been mining for like two months or so, two and a half months. So I mean like for the miner to break in two and a half months, that's some uh, bad sketchy shit. But anyways, um, so yeah, I got the paper right here. All right, so um, they do not accept Fright Collect. Uh, it says be sure to mark, what I, like I said, what I believe the way bill is, is pretty much like a, the bill that you get when you're shipping it out and the UPS kind of tells you, oh, put the description, all that stuff. So that's probably what it is, but um, Okay, so it says, uh, be sure to mark deliveries are made on working days only and at minor on the item description of the way bill. So like I said, I believe the way bill is that. 
that I told you. Uh, do not ship products of a company other than Bitmain, obviously. We are not able to send more than 60 miners. Okay, so if you own over 60 miners, that's... You're pretty far in the business. <laughs> but, uh, consign... Okay, and that's pretty much it, guys. That's exactly what it says here on the paper. I'm gonna look in the back. Okay, so it also shows the address of the miner and all that stuff. So, like I said, I'm gonna be going more in depth on this. Uh, I already explained the, uh the steps so i'll go more in depth on like what what uh address you got to put in and all that kind of stuff so i'll be seeing you guys on the desktop all right guys i'm back we're here on the desktop and i'm on the uh home page of bitmain.com and right over here you're gonna click support you're gonna log in obviously in the beginning you click support and pretty much what i'm gonna be covering right here on the desktop part is what you're gonna want to put in to make sure that things go a little quicker whatever so what i decided was you probably gonna want to put a warranty check right so you know you first you got to find out if you're in the warranty and um you're probably gonna want to put it in there just to help them out just to show them hey look here's the paper i am under the warranty now what do they mean by sn sn is actually a number on your ant miner and you're gonna have to uh look for that minor you know number uh, i actually wrote down my number right over here so i'm gonna write that down in here and i'm going to uh continue the video so give me one second all right guys so as you guys can see it shows green it says that i have my uh you know it says it says we're good to go uh it says the m miner has 180 days of warranty but also on the paper that comes with the amp miner it says 90 day warranty so just just think anywhere from 90 to 180 days right so um anyways I am under the warranty as you guys can see obviously some things are blurred out now what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna use my little snipping tool right over here as you guys can see uh, comes with windows obviously and I'm just gonna I'm probably just gonna grab the entire page like that just to show them just to show them hey you know I'm under the warranty you know just to make things quicker for them or whatever uh, so you know I obviously got that I'm gonna print this out so that's what I'm gonna do and that's the first thing you're gonna want to do now the other thing you're gonna want to do is when I can't show you guys right now because I don't have my miner connected but um, I already took a picture of these things so let me show you guys the pictures that I took obviously the sensitive information is gonna be blurred out but these are the kind of two papers that you're gonna want to put onto your package like I said just to help them out quicker just to make things go more simpler with uh, the best outcome I guess right all right, guys, so I took these two pictures. I let it run for a little bit. As you guys can see, it says 39 minutes and 19 seconds right here. I'm not going to blur that out because that's just the time. But uh, the rest, I'm obviously going to be blurring out all that stuff. So I took a picture of the miner status page that is on the ant miner. And I also took a picture of the uh, overview page, right? So just to show them those two things, just like I said, so things could go quicker. You guys could obviously see the problem that I had here. As you can see, it says zero GH, even though it was running. Actually, I actually let it run for way longer. I let it run for hours and it's still never connected and zero GH the whole time. And yeah, that's pretty much what happened, guys. Uh, obviously, I'm very disappointed and sad that my miner broke. I'm surprised at how quickly it broke. I mean, like if it were to break, I would expect it to break in years from now. So uh, just know, guys, that it can happen to anyone. I'm obviously a YouTuber with a voice right with a 3000 subscriber voice obviously not the biggest voice but i have some kind of voice and um if it happened to me it's possible it could happen to you uh that that doesn't mean i want to discourage you guys from buying these things i know a lot of people that have had their miner for years now so and also they have the ant miner s7s that they had for years so maybe this was just a you one of those unique situations that happened to me uh but Obviously, it was the when I saw that red light. It, by the way, there was a red light, and then I reset it, and then it turned to green light. But when I saw that red light, I was like, my heart started beating and all that stuff. Of course, because you know you spend thousands of dollars in this, and you're gonna want to profit and all that stuff. But I went onto the Ant Miner page, and I saw you know Bitmain, and I saw that they have their warranties and all that stuff. So hopefully, if all of this goes very smoothly, and I get my miner back fixed completely and all that stuff, which I will be updating on my social medias. And on Steam is so make sure you guys follow me on all of those things. Go to my website for my social medias, and you can join the Genix team. And uh, I'll be showing you guys how to do that, anyways. And uh, you know, follow me on Steam. It the link is in the description, also. But yeah, guys, it is one of those 
points that it's just like, damn, why did this happen? And why did it happen so soon? And why did it happen to me kind of thing? But it happened and move on, find a way to fix it. And that's pretty much all you can do, right? It's the same thing as like when you lose money in this whole cryptocurrency world. Uh, all you could do is really move on or try to find a way to make it profitable for yourself, right? So yeah, guys, if you want to join the Genix team, which I was talking to you guys about that, simply go to my website, genixtocrypto.com crypto.com and then once you're on my website jenks team right there on the top right here follow these four simple steps which is just following my social medias which gives you you know special uh access to information all that stuff that i send and all that stuff uh and then you'll also be able to access my chat audio and video discord server my private discord server guys so make sure you guys benefit from that all right guys all right so this one's also very simple guys you go to the support page right over here where it says repair guide you click the repair guide very simple it shows you exactly what you need to do what you need to put in there i already covered everything that you guys need to do and all that stuff and even extra little tips and stuff like that so if you guys want to do that do it it probably would help but anyways everything that i told you guys the export pdf the way bill everything like that now here's what i really wanted to cover right over here for the uh people uh, worldwide you would want to follow this address you know people that are out of the us you follow this address you send the miner to this address and then for the people that are in the us like me you would send the uh you know you would send the miner s9 to the repair site which the address is right here the name and all that beautiful kind of things right and creating a repair ticket is very simple if you guys want me to make a video on how to create a repair ticket just let me know it's also pretty freaking simple uh i was you know confused in the beginning but then i kind of like focused and i was like okay let me read this through let me find out how to do it and it's pretty simple guys once you know how what you're doing guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i do daily cryptocurrency videos guys so make sure you guys subscribe i have passive income ways in the description below so make sure you guys check that out and i'll be seeing you guys on my next video Take care.